Howdy, howdy, Jihad is here on this video. After a while, I want to teach you five tips to boost your scan to be in workflow. Uh, about uh, two weeks ago, we finished a big project, which is a 100,000 square meter scan to beam services. I've uh, hid, uh, hidden uh, most of the parts, like MEV parts and walls and those parts, to be able to work much faster in the video recording and some of you asked me to teach us some of the tips that you've used in this project but before that if you don't have any idea about the scan to beam uh, process the scan to beam process is a new way to capture the measurements of the building you can use it for many use cases you can go and search for it and it's uh, you can uh, scan the project with the scan uh, scan equipments and then you can bring it into Revit and start to model it and in here I want to just mention five tips to boost your workflow the first one is if you are not using Revit 2024 which has dark term uh, do a favor to yourself and me and anyone that is working with you and change the background to something uh, different than white for example if you would use white you have to work hours with this for example let's just turn off all of the uh, elements and turn back the turn back the void cloud on and you can see it is really exhausting to work with this when you go to the for example any plans uh, you will have to work with this hours and hours and uh, seeing uh, point cloud data especially if they are not uh, in RGB like this they are in black and white it will be exhausting and after two or three hours of work it will really uh, hurt you and also at the same time uh, you can't uh, recognize the elements as much as when you are using uh, a darker background for example when you put it on something like this it will be much easier to work when you are in sections and anywhere you want to the second uh, tip that it can give you is to find the levels in your first step. For example, after you've imported all of, or uh, not imported, link your uh, point clouds in Revit, the first step is to find your levels and uh, find your floors. To do that, it's better to go to 3D or any elevation you want and then create a section box in here and create a narrow part of your project if you have some CADs it can give you some context but if you have if you don't have any CAD about the project you have to understand the context of project in here and when you go to the front part or right part you can use sections too but I'm really uh, more comfortable with the uh, point cloud in 3D in comparison with the other parts for example let me yeah, all of them are turned on and you can see we can see the floor in here, the lowest floor and then we can see the next floor, next floor and another mezzanine that we have in here and our roof in here. So you can easily create your levels. For example, you need one, two, three, four or five levels and you can go to the one of the uh, elevation, create your levels and then move it to the right place in 3D. It doesn't need to be matched with all of the parts. Uh, you have to put it somewhere that is in a place that is more matched with more points. Uh, and then you can create some other elements with the offset to the level. It's really uh, important to do this because if you don't have any level or grade level to have a plan and, ha and have a reference to work with, you can't do anything. For example, when you create a create right plan, uh, Revit elements you can see we can see much better the elements for example we can we have columns we have uh, we have some other elements and you can change the for example uh, view range to something else to be able to see the beams too so it will be much uh, lighter to work you can see the beams in here so it's a great point to do this before going to the next part or next tip, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you want me to create a video for a 
a smaller project full workflow video for a scan to beam project make sure to comment down below and the next one is for example when you are trying to create for example let me change the view range to something lower maybe under 50 to see the walls for example we have some walls in here uh, when you are creating and modeling your uh, project uh, when it's a, a scan to beam project for example when i want to create a wall in here and when I start creating the wall, I have to turn on the walls first from the VG. Let's uh, press VG and turn on the walls and let's put an unshaded. We have a wall in here. Let me delete it and let's assume that we want to create a wall in here. I don't care about the... Let me use maybe 10. For example, the start point is easy to pick. For example, you, can, you will uh, select this. But for the end point, sometimes... Uh, the snaps come in the way and it's a barrier and it will make your uh, life much more harder to create your walls at the same part. For example, you can see this snap is not, uh, is not changing in here. So you have two ways. You can go to the manage and turn off all of the snaps, but uh, there is a shortcut for it that is a snap to point, but we'll use as a way that will uh, so it's something like that you have disabled all of the snaps so for example when i've clicked my first uh, starting point you can use this technique for any element for the second point that i want to pick if the snaps uh, came into your way make sure to press sx on your keyboard and then it will disable the snaps snaps and you can then easily select the point that you want to be your end so that's the way that you can speed up your process in here and even in some places it is impossible to do this the next tip which is my favorite is sometimes when you have the scan files in black and white or in, or in uh, gray scale mode it's hard to understand which elements are which sometimes and for example in more busy area you can't understand the edges of the parts sometimes or it is a little bit hard to prevent from this or to boost your workflow you can change the way of the point cloud is showing to normal so you just need to press vg and go to the point clause and change the way that is showing to you to uh, normal so let me change this to normal and let me change this to normal too you can put it on single color too but normals are better because it will separate the horizontal and vertical uh, points from each other and you can for example in here you can much uh, you can recognize the edges of your uh, beam much easier you can do the same thing in 3d i've assigned the normals to p to p3 and for p4 i want to put it on single color to see the difference in here single color is not uh, mostly used or not that common but you can use it when you want to, for example, separate the scans of one uh, story from another. But you can see the normals will give you a better look for understanding the scans much better in comparison with the RGB. And I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to learn about a full work pro project, not for a scan to beam, but for cat to beam, you can watch the video I will put on the screen. Make sure to comment down below if you want me to create other videos about scan to beam workflows.